everyone. Let's get started on your reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. All right, what is it you need to know right now? What does Cancers need to know right at this moment? Oh, you got reconciliation. Right at this moment is what you need to know. It says reconciliation. There is someone or something that can still be saved if you choose to compromise. Try to find the middle ground between two points. So you got reconciliation coming in. Now keep in mind, um, keep in mind that this reconciliation could also symbolizes, which, which is what I'm getting here, people coming back into your life, okay? There's going to be some connections that can be saved, but there's also going to be those that are coming back into your life for you to wrap up whatever um, unresolved issues you have with that particular person, okay? So I feel like you're going to be given the opportunity to reconcile with some and to close out that chapter with others where there won't be any reconciliation. Now, the under our energy of reconciliation says here, shine your beauty. Let others do and say what they will. Keep doing good. Resist the temptation to dim your light to become as dark as those that oppose you. So it looks like that energy is still there for you guys right now. And what I mean by that energy is like uh, just other people that may be intimidated by you or people that can't stand your authenticity um, or just don't like your aura or how you choose to show up in the roar and they're trying to dim your light. Spirit is saying don't allow others and maybe even just gossiping and talking about you, but don't allow them to dim your light. Keep doing good. Resist the temptation to dim your light because that's exactly what they want you to do. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we got here the nine of swords as I grab this deck. There is something that's bothering you. Hmm, let's see what's going on here. This could be something around money, your career, your job, you, your, your independence, being able to take care of yourself could be bothering you. You may be worried that you won't be able to take care of yourself. We got the Empress coming through. Hmm. There's something going on when it comes to a mother or mother figure or someone significant in your life. We got, oh, the Ten of Swords is coming up with that energy. So there's going to be some sort of issue with a significant woman in your life, a betrayal. And remember I talked about reconciliation. That could have been something that already happened. So you'll have an opportunity to reconcile with someone that's like a mother figure or just some sort of significant woman in your life. So there was some, there was like some sort of like bad ending with you and this person. But there's going to be an opportunity to reconcile or to close out that chapter. I do feel, however, though... It's going to be slow because there's some hesitation uh, with reaching out. This person reaching out to you, they're a little bit hesitant in doing so. We got the devil coming in. Hmm. And the devil is in chains. I want to tell you guys, there is this like dark force, this devil energy. And I feel like this devil has been the one causing all this havoc in your life. Now, this is not to say that these people are blameless. We know that these people have been trying to shine, your, trying to dim your light. But they have been being manipulated by the devil. This is not an excuse. This is just saying that the devil was involved in using these people to get to you. And if the devil is threatened by you, then that means that there's something significant about you. Let's see what that is. Because the devil was obviously threatened. But I'm seeing here God having restrained the devil. The devil can no longer do anything to you. That's why they have this um, these chains on the devil's hands. Because the devil is no longer allowed to test you, 
to um, use people to stop you and hinder you, gossip about you. Like the devil has been restrained from sending these attacks because you did experience multiple attacks, right? And I feel like now that this devil energy is restrained, like that hold that this devil had on some of these people, not all, but on some of these people is starting to lift to where they're starting to maybe even see things in a clearer light and want to reconcile with you. The devil loves, loves confusion. It loves to keep people at odds. It loves to distract people by being mad at each other. Because the devil was sending them to dim your light. So why? Why was the devil out to get you? Because like I said, there's something significant about you. And one of the things that I'm seeing here is fortune. It says you have a pioneering spirit that can manifest abundance easily. All that you touch turns to go. Luck seems to be on your side. The devil was out to stop you from your fortune. What else? Yep, and your gifts, clairvoyance. It says you possess clear vision, perceiving with the mind's eye, inner vision, or extended visual capacity that can include images from the past, present, and future. The devil was out to block your third eye, out to steal your gifts, to dim your light, for you not to believe in yourself, and using people to try to get you not to believe in yourself and to get you to dim your light. And to not look and trust and believe in God. Look at how she's looking up to the sky, right? The devil was trying to cause a rift between you and God. So you would no longer have faith. Tell me more about why this devil was out there, the viewer. Because you're fearless. Because you're fearless. It, it, it can, they couldn't stop you. They kept sending. That's why you got to look at this ten swords. It's over with though. They kept sending sword after sword after sword to stop you. But look. It says you are bold about your joy. See trying to dim that boldness. Dim that light. It says you are bold about your joys in life. Making you more vivid and alive to those around you. Teaching them to take more risks. The devil does not want your energy to rub off on other people in this world. You being bold about your joys in life, rubbing off on other people, making them bold about their joys in life is not what the devil wants. The devil wants to keep people in despair, in sorrow, scared. Fear, not fearless. They, the devil wants you to wants people to act in fear, because when they act in fear, they're at they act reckless. And look, detach what's the under our energy. It says you are a deep thinker with a high level of emotional intelligence and awareness. Your vibration creates a ripple effect. Again. A ripple effect which makes others more aware of their own emotions. Devil does not want you to create a ripple effect and make other people aware of their own emotions. If, if people are aware that they are narcissistic, or for example, or insecure, or living in fear, low self-esteem, right? If people are aware of that, they won't do anything about it. So because that's why they'll look to you and point the finger at you trying to dim your light. But if they take that instead of pointing at you and pointing at themselves, become more aware of their behavior, then they can fix it and resolve and heal it. The devil's like, no, I have to keep you distracted. I have to put your attention on cancers because I want you to stop them from being able to inspire other people. That's why the devil has been after you. The devil does not want you to inspire and help other people through your fearlessness, through your third eye, through you being a deep thinker with a high level of emotional intelligence. I need to stop you because you are rubbing off on other people, causing, causing this devil to lose its grips, lose its holes on his minions that does his biddings, right? All right, what else for cancers?
We got here eight of pentacles. You are about to become committed to something. Committed and dedicated. Some of you are about to sit down and write that book that you were supposed to write. Because I feel like you have a story to tell, especially with them 10 swords, with all of what you went through, all of what the devil tried to do to you and the people that the devil used against you. I'm seeing you have some sort of story or some sort of gift, some sort of talent that you're going to use as a result. And you see that the sirens, that's help. You're going to use your pain you, the betrayals, everything that you went through, you're going to use it for fuel to help others, to guide and teach others. You're going to become very committed to doing this. You have a talent, some sort of gift, like I said, some sort of story that you're going to become committed to. And you're using that to help other people. I was trying to think. Let me see. I want to know more about this um, work thing that Cancer is going to be committed and focused on. Because, again, I tell you, I feel like the devil has been trying to get your attention, to focus on your problems. That's what the devil has been trying to do, to get you focused on all these sores, focus on all these people that are attacking you. So it gets you off of your mission, off of your path. But it's doing the opposite. Like I said, taking that pain and using it for fuel determined and committed look spirituality it says use money magic spells to increase wealth and prosperity it says spiritual advisor healer tarot reader or anything in the occult you are being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path right now and when you discover that you're going to become committed to it focus on it can't this, look, see, because you, this is why, because you have a legacy to leave. This is why the attack has been so hard on you because of the work that you're going to do and the impact that it's going to have on the world. It says your work will be passed down to future generations. You're going to be committed to your legacy. You're going to become committed to your purpose. Let's get one more card. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh. Look at that. Oh, you unlocking something, honey. You are unlocking something. Some of you are going to rescue a dog. Some of you are, aside from rescuing the work that you do, helping other people and rescuing other people, I'm seeing someone rescue a dog or get a dog. <laughs> That's cute. But anyway, um, you're unlocking something. It says, what was locked can now be opened. It says you have opened the floodgates of abundance without limitations. You being committed to your path, to your legacy, to your calling is unlocking you being self-made and leaving a legacy for future generations. You matter. That's why the attack has been so hard on you in your life. That's why the devil kept coming after you. Because you have a legacy. Because you matter in this world. You will become successful or rich by your own efforts. It says sometimes you must be obsessed in order to be successful. That's what you're going to become. Obsessed and committed to this work. Because you have been. It says you are underutilizing your own strengths and advantages. You have been underutilizing your strengths and advantages because you were distracted with this devil. Now that the devil's hands have been restrained from attacking you and using people to attack you, now you can do your work. You were in school, right? The devil was just teaching you, not even knowing that it was being used to teach you, to motivate you, to inspire you. Because you're going to use what you've gone through to help other people. The devil actually unlocked some sort of untapped potential within you. Your gift unlocked an untapped gift within you. What else for cancers? We got here. Oh, lovers. The lovers card is coming in. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Cancers, you are, um, 
I don't feel as though you're a choice or an option. You are the one. Okay? I feel like there is someone who had been dating other people but not feeling fulfilled with these other people. There's a person who has had like multiple lovers. All right? There's a person. This could be a Gemini or a Libra. Um, but they have had multiple lovers. It doesn't have to be though. They can have that in their chart. Um, but don't get caught up on the zodiac sign. But for some of you, that will be the case. But nevertheless, there is a person connected to you that has had multiple lovers. They have been dating multiple people, even at the same time. They're dating though. And I feel like they have not found the one. They had not found the one. But then here comes you that don't fit in with the other people that they've been dating. Because there, these other people that they were dating were all alike. But then here comes you. Someone that stands out from the rest. And look, they, they picking up and running towards you. Hmm. Hmm. Cancer, this person is coming towards you. Let's see. What's this about? It's just like they're coming towards you to make some to make up with you. Yep, coming back. Because there was some sort of disappointment here with whoever this person is. We got here Emperor coming in. There, this could um, be an Aries or just someone in this Emperor energy. Someone that's like a, a big boy, right? Someone that's like... Um, I'm getting here someone that has a lot of responsibilities. with that, Especially with that Ten of Wands. Carrying a heavy load. But this is not someone, this is someone that's really, with this emperor energy, I feel like this will be someone that's worth your while. Let me see, I want to know more about them though. Because um, I feel like there is more to them, but I want to know what that is for you. So, let's see, let's take this deck. Hmm, tell me, I want to know about the emperor energy that's coming in. Because it's a powerful energy. That's why I'm feeling guided towards it. It's a very powerful, bold energy. But the thing about it is that this bold, powerful person, because they're used to being bold and powerful with other lovers. But there's something about you that I feel like makes them retreat. They could have ran from you too. But they're coming because I feel like they have some stuff going on. But it's like despite what they got going on, they're still like, let's say they have like a lot of issues and they were staying away from you because of that. I feel like they don't care anymore. They don't want to stay because uh, they I feel like they have a lot of responsibilities. And that was the excuse that they were using to not come towards you. They could have also been dealing with some sort of legal situation that they didn't want to be a burden. But I'm seeing I don't care. I, I need to have you in my life. See, I want to move forward together. It's like despite whatever difficulties. Yep, see, the feminine. It's like despite whatever difficulties they have, they want they still want you by their side. Now, the, the, the burden that they have is, is responsibilities. Now, keep in mind, this is not responsibilities that is like, um, I want to say I don't feel like it's problematic. It's because of who they are. They are a leader. So with being a leader comes a heavy burden. It comes a lot of responsibilities. It's like you have the CEO of a company, but then you have the manager. And then you have the entry level positions. The, of course, as you move up, you have more responsibilities. And that's what I'm saying about this person. They're at a top level. So of course, they have a lot of responsibilities. So I feel like they were staying away from you for that reason. But I'm also seeing here... Some sort of letdown. So there was something that happened here. I feel like miscommunication and some sort of or lack of communication caused a delay. Caused some sort of issue. Not speaking up. Tell me about this emperor. 
the future. See, I feel like, and look, honeymoon. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like this person was like, I'm so busy right now. And that's where that hurrying up now, picking up. I don't care about my responsibilities. I need you in my life. Because I feel like they were waiting until they were able to release that load, that ten of wands. They were waiting and they were casually dating as well. And they felt like, well, when I'm ready to settle down, it's you I'm going to marry. Honeymoon. See, look, I told you, look at this strategy here. Look, see, this is someone that's, um, it says planning next move. But this is someone, like I told you guys, like whatever it is that they do, they're at a really high ranking level. Whatever it is that they do. There, it's like a high ranking level in their career as well. This person is very strategic too. In general, and I feel like they tried to be strategic with you, but it backfired. And now they're trying to catch up because they had a plan. Well, what was their plan? Let me fix this stuff. You know, dating in the meantime, here and there, even though none of these people are interested in me, I'm, none of these people are, are interested to me. But once I get some of this load released, then I'll catch up to you. But it wasn't working. It didn't work out that way. Something happened. Something happened here. Yeah, and then look at here. Eternal flame. Divine soul love. They have this eternal flame for you. Explosive sexual chemistry. Look, assessing risk. Reign the options. That's what happened too. Assessing the risk. They were too busy trying to assess the risk. Weighing the options. Thinking that you were an option. Thinking that you were going to still be around. We got here the masculine. And look, the feminine. See both of you. Eternal flame. And look, burning it down. Something exploded. There was something that exploded between you and this person. While they were busy trying to be strategic, assessing the risk, something happened. Some sort of fire happened. Let's see what that's about. Hmm. I'm going to use this stuff. All right. Let's see um, what we can find out more about this emperor. So I'm seeing here extra triggered. We got here always partying. So this person may be extra triggered. And like to party to forget their um, woes. They lost their chance. See? And that's what I'm saying because they were always partying. They was always, that's where I was telling you about having the multiple lovers. They were, this person was not ready to commit. They saw you in their future when they were ready to settle down. But because they were always partying, and then we got here karmic friends with their friends. They were hanging around karmic friends, partying. And as a result, lost their chance. Because I feel like their karmic friends was encouraging them to, uh, you know, be with multiple lovers. And to not settle down. But this emperor is, is settling down material. This emperor is not a single person. So here it is someone that's ready for something serious. But they're allowing their friends to sway them to do the opposite. The, I even feel like the friends are not even on this emperor's level. But the emperor not wanting to be by himself. Wanting to fit in. Was you know going down. Yeah see waiting. Waiting. And while they were waiting, curious about you. So even while they were out partying and hanging around with their friends, the whole time they had you. They were thinking about you. But still, they allowed their friends and these karmic lovers, these karmic friends to get in the way. To get in the way. They knew, because the emperor, like I said, the emperor is not some single person. The emperor is marriage material. The emperor should be married. So here it is, this person being brought, you're being brought into each other's lives and they're thinking, well, I'll just get with you in the future. But whole time, they're always thinking about you, even while they're partying, even while they're hanging out with their friends. Whole time. And look, see, too busy winning. I feel like this is you. Too busy winning. I feel like I'm being unfazed by this. Too busy winning, being unfazed. 
So it's like you didn't allow this to drag you down. Tell me about Cancer's energy. Let's get more insight around your energy. We got here obsessive lover coming in. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, karmic. Why is this coming in for Cancer's obsessive lover? Stop. You have a stalker. Cancers, you have a stalker. It's not this person. This is someone else coming in. Uh, let me see. Who is this person that's stalking you? You have an obsessive lover that's stalking you. And it's not this person. It's someone else. Hmm. Yeah. Snake in the garden. Beware. You have a snake in the garden. Tell me about this obsessive lover. You see, you're too busy winning to even realize you have an obsessive lover on your hands. This is not this is not this person, though. This is someone else. Yeah, see, someone you're in separation from. And whoever this person is, they're depressed. They're depressed, Cancers. Look, you got a new person, see? You have chemistry with someone. This is the person you have the chemistry with. Remember, we even saw it. We saw it. Remember fireworks right here. Explosive sexual chemistry. You have that with someone else. But you have this and that other person got money. That emperor has money. They're very creative. But the stalker. Tell me about this stalker. This obsessive lover that Cancer is uh, dealing with. A clueless, stubborn person. This is someone that's stubborn and clueless. That's stalking you. What do they want with you? What does this person want with cancers? What well, we got to drama. I told you you were unbothered too. They want to chase you. And they want to cause some sort of drama or they will start some sort of drama, especially because you're unbothered. I told you, you're too busy winning to be bothered to even realize that there is someone secretly still obsessed with you, stubborn, holding on to you, coming in to chase you. Look, we'll be trying to give you money. Look, crying over you, but they're fake flexing. Fake flexing. And they're going to cause some sort of drama. Alright. Anything else cancers need to know about this? It's a, yeah, a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is fake and they are a wolf. This is someone you want to stay away from. Stay away from. What else can you tell me about this for cancers? Trust, materialistic, uh-oh, and then we got here, look, focus, eyes for you, fascinated, watching, again, whoever this person is, look, bounty hunter, chaser, hot pursuit of you, eyes on you, envious eyes, focus on you trying to buy you and looking to regain your trust but they're a wolf in sheep's clothing do not fall for it cancers all right tell me about let's wrap up your reading tell me about this new person for cancers page of cups yeah this is someone new this is a page someone new they have a crush on you too this is someone and i and i'm seeing here tell me about this page a conversation i'm seeing a conversation Oh, there's a regret. There's regrets around a conversation. I feel like someone regrets not speaking up. And we talked about communication being an issue. This is a new person. They regret not telling you how they felt. They regret not asking you out. They regret not talking to you about their feelings. I feel like this person needs time with temperance coming in. They need time. They're not ready to work things out with you. Because... With this high priestess in reverse, they don't trust themselves. They don't trust this connection yet. And yeah, the King of Cups is coming in. And I'm seeing you focus on your world. Focus on your life anyway. How does Cancers feel about this person? Because we got reconciliation. It's going to happen at some point. 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're very clear. I don't feel like you fantasize about them or daydream about them. Not not now anyway. But look, what's stressing you out? Something is clear for you, but whatever it is that's clear for you is stressing you out. What is it that's clear for cancers that's stressing them out? Is it your feelings? Oh, an ending. Hmm. Hmm, what does this have to do with this new person? I don't know. Let me get another deck. What is this about that's stressing cancers out? Ghosted. Mm hmm. So I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, it hasn't happened yet. There's something that's going to happen. You're going to start to develop feelings for this person. That's what's going to become clear. Once you hang around them, look, you're going to get hooked. You are going to get hooked. Sexually hooked. Remember we kept seeing explosive sexual chemistry. You guys are going to sleep together and it's going to become clear to you. That this is someone you want to deal with. This is someone you, you're you willing to put in the work and go the long haul with this person. What's going to stress you out? An ending. What's that ending? They're going to ghost you. They're going to ghost you. Once you've been hooked. And you may get mad about it. Grudge holder. You may get mad about it. Why are they going to ghost you? That emperor is going to ghost you after the, you two sleep together. Why are they going to ghost you? Look at here. You going this is look, you're going to be like you're going to be talking bad about them. You are going to be talking bad about them. Why? What happens? This like took a turn. Jackpot and hooked. Ign See, I told you ignoring you. Ignoring you. It says winning money, inheritance, got rich, unexpected money. So they're going to come into some sort of unexpected money and then ghost you and ignore you. I don't understand. There's more to this. There has got to be. <laughs> what is this about? Too many strikes. Why is this person going to ghost cancers after they hit the jackpot? It's like after they score with you, ghosting you. Boss, babe. Express yourself to tell me what you want. And then stargazing. This is weird. We got happy, enjoying the drama. See, happy introverts. And then here is drama. I don't understand. Why are they going to ghost you? Like, after being intimate with you. It's not ghosting you and like, yeah, I got what I wanted. It's not. I feel like you're going to be thinking that they ain't nothing. But there's something more going on with them. This ignoring isn't ignoring you because they ain't nothing. There's something deeper going on here. Because I'm getting here like conflicting energy. I feel like this person is going to feel conflicted. It's like, I really like being with you, but I feel like there's something. Uh, I see your worth. I see, see being with you, giving them butterflies. It's going to scare you, scare them. Because remember I said, you're not like everyone else. You have your own, right? And look, they're not telling you how deep they feel about you. Even though you and them have slept together and had a special and having special moments together. It's like once you guys have that intimacy, it's going to trigger them. Maybe you put some sort of move. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're putting some sort of moves on them that scares them to, the, to look, ignoring you. Because look, you're saying, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk to you. This person is going to run after being intimate with you. I need to know more because I'm still trying to understand. They're withholding. They, they are withholding. They are withholding. Hmm. I, 
up. See, look. Oh, I want to get freaky with you. I told you something sexual. Whatever happens with you guys sexually, it look, it's going to be fireworks for them. It's going to be fireworks. So look, they're going to feel hooked and need to disconnect because they're like, I can't feel like this. This was too explosive. I'm going to do an extended reading because we got reconciliation. This isn't over with. I could buy a long shot. You and this person, I'm seeing here enjoying the drama. There's going to be some issues here, but it's not over by a long shot. I'm going to do an extended reading. In the extended, I'm really going to be basically focusing more on like the process, like what was leading up to them getting, you know, you and them, because it looks like hanging out. Some of you could already be going through this or you will be going through this, but it looks like really hanging out, like really hanging out and enjoying each other company and them seeing your worth. Because look, I feel like your accomplishments and, you know, because remember with the 10 swords, we saw you've been through a lot. So they're going to really see what you're all about because it could have been like not you guys not really knowing each other with that page. So it's like really getting to know you and it's like dag. And then once they're intimate with you, we saw twice fireworks, chemistry. It's like out of this world. They're going to become hooked. They're going to become so hooked, it's going to scare them. Even though they enjoy being around you, they're going to start ignoring you. Because after being intimate with you, it was like, look, earth shattering, mind blowing. So they're avoiding you now. And while they're avoiding you, they're trying, they're trying to process these feelings. And you're going to be thinking, ah, oh, this person ain't nothing. You, you slept with me and then you took off and ran. Listen, I don't got no experience like that. I'm talking like I do, but I don't. <laughs> I'm just joking. But anyway, but, um, yeah, you're going to be like, you know, you slept with me and then left. Well, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. This person was surprised. That's why I says, I see your worth. After really being around you, seeing what you're about, how articulate you are, the things that you've gone through. Because remember I said, you have a book to write. They're seeing all of that in you. And then being intimate with you. This person was not expecting this to be like this. This sex to be like this. We're going to look at this over the extended. So... Don't come over there with no PG ears, okay? We're going to really look into what was going on with you guys um, before the process of being intimate, in the process, and after the process, and what's going to happen. So if you want more insight, come on over to the extended. The link is going to be in the description box. Catch you all over there. Bye.